everyone, it's Riley here. So I wanted to do a little bit of a video update for y'all on, you know, some changes that are happening, uh, touch base on what I've already previously talked about a little bit with life changes and also medical changes as well. So first things first, I'm just gonna get right down to it. You can tell there's quite a bit of changes that have happened in here. Um, the layout has pretty much almost stayed the same, but there's definitely some empty space in here as you can kind of see. Um, so um, I've been kind of just rearranging things, making the space feel like more like my own as my ex has moved out there stuff. You know, I'm just kind of trying to make this space, space feel more like it's mine because I'm still here till the end of June and I still may end up re-signing the lease. I'm not really too sure yet. I'm kind of looking around to seeing what's available for the market and renting. Also looking around to see what's available on condos and buying and just kind of seeing what my options are, at least for this year um, and kind of um, just feeling it out and seeing what's best for me. But for now, since I'm here, I have been rearranging and just making the space feel like more like mine. So yeah, you can kind of see a little bit of the changes behind me. But anyways, yeah, so when it comes to uh, medical stuff, I, I talked about it in my previous video, I had to go get some blood work done and also some other tests um, done. And we did get the results of those tests. So my other tests that we did all came back fine. Nothing showed up, which is great. You know, great news because I definitely, thought there was going to be a underlying infection still in my blood or somewhere but it all came back negative which is great the downside is that my blood work still like i'm still in the a low 3.7 uh with my white blood cell count but it did come up from the 3.1 that it was so it's not, it seems to kind of go up and down and and it could be also correlated to maybe stress just you know everything that was going on or it could just be honestly my new norm where it stays in the kind of the high to low threes and that's just how it's going to be which is kind Kind of like worrisome for me because it's like it was never like that before um, but um, it could just be where things sit at now i just have to be a little bit more careful you know to not get sick or anything like that and have it go down in the low twos because then that would be a major concern for us so i just have to kind of keep an eye on that and keep getting like tests done every now and then if, especially if i'm not feeling well to make sure that it's not going below that but yeah otherwise right now like where there is no more tests that currently that i'm going to be doing we're just going to keep an eye on things. If maybe something pops up, we can do more tests later on. Otherwise, right now, we're just kind of watching things and seeing um, what happens well, from here. But that's pretty much it. Um, you know, I'm just, yeah, keeping touch and base with my doctor and just going from there. But as of right now, this is just how things are. And, you know, I'm just hoping I have to touch base with my surgeon. But as long as, you know, there is no concern on her end and my doctor's end with how that may affect my recovery, then I will still be going forward with that, um, which I have not heard anything about still. And, you know, I'm hoping to have that within this hopefully year. But again, I'll keep you all up to date on any changes in regards to medical stuff, surgery stuff, life stuff, um, um, and just, yeah, keep you all up to date where I can. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't really have too much else to update you on. If you do have any other questions, suggestions, topics, anything like that, feel free to put them down in the comments down below. But I, as always, I really appreciate you all watching this journey and just watching, you know, my transition, my life updates, all that kind of stuff. But anyways, you know, thanks for being here and supporting. But that's all. Bye for now.